Crowley, followed by Finlay Carson. President Officer, can I first congratulate my colleague Claire Baker for securing this debate today in recognition of the great work of the Ecology Centre at Kinghorn. I would also congratulate the Ecology Centre as it celebrates its 20th anniversary, a great achievement and one that has had many challenges along the way, as those from the Ecology Centre would, I'm sure, give testimony to. But those involved over these years have remained focused and vigilant on what they wanted to achieve, and you only have to look at their website or Facebook page to see the wealth of activity they are promoting and delivering at Kinghorn Lock. I can also say that visiting the Ecology Centre is a great day out and one that I would recommend. I was delighted to see that in the celebration of their 20th year, they have launched a project called Follow Our Footsteps as they embark on a journey to do their part in the battle against climate change and to lower our carbon footprint. The Ecology Centre points out that they, when they first started out, climate change was a bit of a niche topic and they say it has come a long way since then. It certainly has. They also report that they have been inspired recently by the young people they work with and their passion and determination to find solutions to the environmental challenges we face as a country and across, across the globe. I think we can all be inspired by the work of the Ecology Centre, particularly the work with young people, but more generally as well. I would also want to focus on the work the centre does to raise awareness of the many environmental issues and challenges we as a country, like every country across the world, faces. Such work is groundbreaking as it reaches out into communities across Fife and further afield. Climate change poses one of the greatest threats for future generations, and I'm delighted that through their project, Follow Our Footsteps, the centre is going to cover new topics every month, highlighting their impact on climate change and sharing this with the wider community on their Facebook page and website, explaining how they're getting involved, what other local organisations are doing, and other top tips. We need this kind of community action to build a mass movement against the causes of climate change, where we take action ourselves, but also build the case in our country and across the globe for more government action on climate change. They do say that from little acorns grow mighty oaks, and this is why organisations like the Ecology Centre should be seen as key partners. We just had a debate in Parliament earlier today on social enterprises and their role in Scotland. I would say that this one social enterprise that has set out a clear path and agenda and deserves the support of government at every level, whether it is supporting volunteering or volunteers, working with families, with children, with schools, or supporting business opportunities and raising awareness of environmental issues, this centre is a massive success story that should be celebrated. Well done on 20 years and here's to a good future.